Hi, my name is Jim Green, and I'm a gunsmith. The name of my shop is Gunworks in down east Maine, the small town of Harrington. Today's video, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to disassemble an AR-15 for a good thorough cleaning, but I'm going to introduce another gunsmith we now have in the shop. His name is Andrew Warzeniak. He goes by the name of Waz. That's his nickname, I guess, because it took me a week to even pronounce, to learn how to pronounce his name, let alone spell it. But he's a pretty good guy. Just got out of the Marine Corps. He's working here in the shop. And this is what he did in the Marine Corps. So if you have any military-style uh, sporting weapons, he's the man to work on them for you. Today's rifle we're going to disassemble for a good cleaning is an AR-15. Your first step in cleaning an AR-15 is to make sure that the gun is not loaded and there's not a round in the chamber. Chamber is clear, send the bolt home. Now you're going to flip it over and you're going to notice that there are two small pins. There's a front takedown pin and a rear takedown pin. You're going to pop those two pins. You're going to separate the upper receiver from the lower receiver. Now on the upper receiver, you got the bolt, the charging handle, and the front handguards that you can take off. You're going to pull the charging handle, remove your bolt, and now up inside the upper receiver there's two little notches that your charging handle needs to come out through. And then to remove your front two handguards, you're going to pull down on the slip ring, and you're going to just pop them off. Sometimes it can be a little difficult depending on how tight the springs are inside your slip ring. Now, that's pretty much as far as you can go on the upper receiver for a good thorough cleaning. Now we're going to move to the bolt. This is your bolt carrier group. It consists of the bolt carrier, the bolt, firing pin, and your firing pin retaining pin, and your bolt cam pin. First step is to grab your firing pin retaining pin and remove that. Your firing pin will fall out. Then you're going to push back on the bolt face so that your bolt cam pin is off to the side. Rotate it and just pull it out. And then your bolt will slide right out. Now there's two other parts on this bolt. There's the extractor and the ejector. Both those are under some pretty good spring tension, but since we're going to do a good thorough cleaning, we're going to pull those off. On your extractor, you can see one side of the pin has a little head on it, and one side doesn't. So, I'm going to grab the block, the punch. I'm going to drive that pin out. Make sure you keep pressure on it. There's a little spring back here, don't lose it. And now, your ejector. Get a smaller punch. Okay, now make sure you keep spring tension on that extractor. I'm just going to pull it out. There's a spring in there. And that's pretty much as far as you want to take that bolt down for a good thorough cleaning. Then you can get in all the gunk inside and up where the firing pin goes through. Now we're going to work on your lower receiver. The first thing to do when disassembling your lower receiver is to remove your buffer and your buffer spring. You're going to push down on this little pin right here. It's your buffer retaining spring. And remove it. Set it off to the side. Now you're going to have to make sure that your that your rifle is on fire and flip it over and there's a screw up inside the pistol grip and you're going to remove that to get your safety out And once we take this off, there's going to be a spring and a detent that holds your safety on. You're going to make sure you don't lose those. 
Here's your spring. Here's your detent. Now your safety just comes right out the side. Now the next thing to do to um, get down in there and get all the junk out is to remove your hammer because the hammer spring sits on the trigger pin and that holds it in place so you got to remove that first. Now we're going to remove your your hammer. Now before you remove your hammer you want to take spring tension off of it so let it ride forward. Now you're going to remove your hammer bar now make sure you keep good pressure on that hammer because it's still under a good amount of spring tension lift it up and take it out you got your hammer and your hammer spring now you're going to remove your trigger and your sear Here's your sear. Your sear spring, trigger, and trigger spring. And that's pretty much all it takes to disassemble an AR-15 for a good thorough cleaning. Okay, now that we've got this lower receiver fully disassembled and we gave it a good cleaning and wiped it out, we're going to show you a few tricks on how to get it back together. Okay, and uh, you got your trigger and your trigger spring, and you got your disconnect spring. You're going to place that right in there. There's a little grooved cutout in there. Just going to pop that right in there. Take your disconnector, put the notch over the spring. And you're going to take that, put the feet down in front of the trigger. You're going to slide that right inside the receiver. Now you're going to take your pin with, it doesn't really matter which side the slot goes on because the trigger spring's got, or the hammer spring has a leg on each side. You just slide that right in there. Nope. Thought we could get it easy, but I guess we're going to need a punch to line everything up. Now that we lined everything up with a punch, we're going to take the pin with, I don't know, we're going to put the slot on the right hand side. We're going to butt the pin up against the punch and hopefully just replace the punch with the pin as we slide it through. Yep, and there you have it. That pin's in, holding the trigger and the disconnector down. Now, you're going to take your hammer and your hammer spring and you're going to insert it into the upper receiver with those two legs sitting on top of that pin we just put in that holds the trigger and the disconnector down and you're going to push it up to the front line those holes up and slide the pin in just like that. Now you have to get your safety back in you have to cock the hammer down because that moves the trigger and the trigger assembly out of the way of the safety. Now you're going to take your safety with the notch facing down and you're just going to drop it right in the side of the rifle. You're going to flip it over and that little hole right there is where your safety detent goes in that holds your safety in place. I'm just going to drop that in there. Now you're going to take your safety detent spring and you're going to stick it right in the hole on the side of the pistol grip. And then slide that pistol grip over making sure that that spring lines up over that detent. Now 
take the screwdriver, just screw it back together. Now, now we're going to do functions check on your safety and make sure it works. You put it on fire, the hammer is cocked, flip it to safe, you should hear it click, pull the trigger, weapon doesn't fire, flip it to fire, keep tension on the hammer, don't let it slam forward, on fire it should release up, and then flip it back down, flip it back to safe. And now we're just going to do a close up of the inside of the lower receiver, and you can see the hammer spring is sitting on top of the trigger bar and it's holding that pin in place. Now you're going to put your cock your hammer back, put it on safe, take your buffer and buffer spring, and just slide it right back down in there. And that's your lower receiver reassembly for a good detailed cleaning. Thank you for watching this latest Gunworks video. Down East Gunworks is a full service farm repair service for all of your long guns and handguns that includes a high tech machine shop for tooling obsolete parts. Old or new, if you have a farm that needs attention, Gunworks can probably fix it, solve it, coat it, and make it work. If you're living in Down East, Maine, come by the shop for a visit. We're located on Route 1 in Harrington. If you live elsewhere, you can reach us by going to the website www.downeastgunworks.com or calling the shop at area code 207-483-2175. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please leave me a comment and rate the video. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll always know when I've posted something new. And thanks again for watching.